So, haven't been out in about a week. You can kind of see it's been raining. And it's been raining pretty much every day, but that's kind of summertime. But then you walk outside and the humidity and blah, and plus wind. So, I really haven't been going out. This is actually the first time I've attempted to go out in a week. So, finally got the uh, kayak on the car ready to go and of course flat tire uh, took it down to the uh, gas station to get it uh, aired up but fortunately I found the nail so I'm gonna see if I can go ahead and fix that right now before we head off yeah, so we've got this little nail right here that we're gonna take out and then I'm gonna use one of these little tire repair kits and with the plugs and just see if we can plug that real quick Basically, we're just going to use these little plug kits. And they use these little sticky, rubbery plugs. And you thread them through. These deals. You can get them through there. And get that about halfway there we go and basically I've got some pliers and a screwdriver to pull the nail out then I'm gonna use a reamer to clean out the hole widen it a little bit and then I'm gonna push the plug in and then before the two tines are all the way through so they're still sticking out then I'm just gonna yank it through and pull it out so that is the plan so let's get this going here Try to do this in one motion so we don't lose all my air that I just put in. There it goes. And I'd like to find that, see what it was. Then we're going to take the reamer and ream out the hole. Feel that air coming out, but we're just going to clean out that hole. Then we got the plug ready. There we go, starts going in. Got it, so it's almost all the way in, but the threads are still sticking out. See there? Then we're just gonna pull it out real quick. And there's our plug. Okay, we're just gonna cut off that little excess here. Doesn't have to be perfect because uh, it's just gonna get run over and grind it off as they drive but that is the plug there Do a little test yeah, i think we're good to go yeah well here's a quick look of my car rigged and rigged and ready to go for tarpon at least got my three rods one spinning one bait caster the long rod set up with the floats for the tarpon and then that red one is my little pinfish rod got the motor uh, pedals for the Hobie spare gas outriggers way down in there got my seat cushion PDF um, I'm going to I've got my net that's that blue thing in the right there uh, I'm gonna try to pick up a couple of crabs at the bridge couple buckets I just keep my stuff in this one's got my anchor in it that one's got my little bucket for the crabs I'll probably only take one bucket just for uh, grunts and my tackle boxes my rope for uh, dropping uh, the bait down to uh, net the crabs I keep uh, three or four uh, two liter bottles full of water so they're ready to go at any time and I keep multiple lids depending on the type of bait that I'm gonna be carrying and that's pretty much it all ready to go except for the stuff that I forget which is quite often but that's a quick look all right so we're off to fishing 
hopefully uh, when I get back the <laughs> tire will still be uh, inflated. But that is the star of the day. Uh, I'll get back with another video to see how I did. Uh, we're going to target, uh, do a little bit of tar bit and then uh, bait recon since I haven't been out in a week. Just kind of see what's going on. Uh, it's still a bit breezy, but uh, in a couple days it's supposed to uh, flatten out a bit. And then I'll kind of want to be uh, ready for that. Make sure the motor's running, make sure I haven't forgotten anything, just get everything set up so uh, I could do an offshore run if it allows. But that's the plan. <laughs>